General Flynn, I wanted to touch on a subject that more and more people are, are beginning to talk about, uh, especially uh, about a month or two ago, there was a video that was released by the Twitter account of the Fort Bragg's Fourth Psychological Operations Group. Okay. It was a recruiting video, it was really eerie, really weird, mm -hmm. uh, talking about psychological warfare operations. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of people were shocked by it, but it also brought this idea of fifth generation warfare to sort of the mainstream you know, yeah. public yeah. discourse. Can you explain to the audience who have, might, might have never heard of it, what is fifth generation warfare? Well, first of all, uh, everybody always tries to define warfare differently or you know they try to define it as to what it is what type of war that we're involved in you know first generation war now they say fifth generation war uh, war uh, between military forces that's sort of third generation that's kind of the force on force big wars like we had in uh, you know in, in places like Europe or, or the Pacific and uh, actually in place like Vietnam, where it started to morph, and you get this fourth generation war, which is sort of the, you know, they, the, there was a Marine general, I forget, I think he was the one that dubbed the three block war, mm -hmm. <clears throat> where you're fighting insurgencies and you're fighting in a very small, small area, you know, jungle or, or the desert or, or villages and such. Um, so fifth generation warfare is, is not, it's not a new form of warfare, it's just being it's, it's raising uh, its head because people are looking at what are the elements of warfare that are imposed upon an adversary or a society. Mm -hmm. And so it's interesting that uh, you bring up the psychological operations recruiting uh, video, I believe is what you're talking about, you're, you're referring to. And in, in uh, fifth generation warfare, I... I Part of what I call it is I call it a war of narratives where there's distraction, there's deception, there's truth, there's um, some physical uh, aspects of it. Uh, there are, uh, there's certainly uh, adversarial elements, there's adversarial elements within it that are, um, that are not normal, uh, what you would describe as, as military type capabilities, right? Media would be part of that. Uh, propaganda. So smart leaders, smart uh, generals over time, over the history of time, have always used distraction, deception, uh, un untruths, um, and mixed with some truth. That would be a little bit of what, what we would refer to in the world of deception, particularly deception operations in a military campaign. So you have to have all of these different components. You know, before you even start talking about the physical things that you might do or might not do, but you have to have a different set of adversaries. So right now, I believe in our country, and that's why it's interesting that uh, this um, commercial came up, essentially this recruiting commercial came up. They are trying to recruit in this new world. You know, and psychological operations have been around a long time. They've always been trying to recruit and they... And they get really talented people. They get very talented people, very creative, very, very uh, sort of deep thinkers. Some people that would, you'd, ne you'd not necessarily say, oh, yeah, this is a perfect soldier for the army, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're a little bit, they're, uh, the, the really, really uh, talented ones are the ones that you want to have that kind of creativity. So that's, a, that's the type of people that you're trying to get in the, in, from a military perspective. But in the, in the strategic sense of, of what is happening to uh, us right now in the United States. And it, and it ties directly into this global reset that is occurring that is led by the World Economic Forum. It, is, it has components in the World Health Organization, in the United Nations, in the World Bank, in the International Monetary Fund, uh, et cetera, that there are these, these distractions and these methods that they are using and, and in many cases, and in fact in most cases, they're being much, much more public about what it is that they are trying to achieve. Mm -hmm. I mean, to the point of actually, you know, if you, if you go and you look at the latest uh, Davos summit that the World Economic Forum had, look at some of the interviews and some of the videos, some of the panels that they had. Mm -hmm. I mean, they just blatantly say the kinds of things that they're planning on doing.